From Madeira, this is the KTM Machina Prowler of Emmanuel Pombo, who came fourth uh, in Zermatt, the first ever EWS E race. Now I'm going to go quickly through some of the details of this bike which is off the shelf then I'm going to have a chat with Emmanuel about his personal setup on this bike. Now Emmanuel's gone for a size medium bike, now the reach on this medium is actually 462 millimeters. Uh, Emmanuel is 1 meter 71 I think. One meter, Emmanuel's 1 meter 71 I think. Some of the other geometry numbers on the bike, 65 degree head angle, 76.5 degree seat tube angle, 442 millimeter chainstay, a minus four drop on the bottom bracket. Um, and yeah, it's a carbon front end and an alloy rear end. Hello puppy, all right. Uh, right, I think it's time to call in Emmanuel and have a look at some of the personal setup which he's got on this bike. Right, we're now joined by the man himself from Madeira. Now, Emmanuel is a former World Cup downhill racer. He did it for many, many years, yes. right? But you've made the switch to yeah, e-bike racing. Yeah, first I made the switch. I tried to ride the like enduro, normal ones. And for me, the transfer were always like, um, I thought it's, I needed something different. And with the e-bike, like the transfer here, like in Pieta, are really challenging like steep and it, this should wait the, the goal to go with a bikes and that's what I was looking for. How challenging exactly? Uh, I think it will be impossible to climb on a normal bike. So. Oh, that, well, really? Yeah. Right. Because it's so steep and technical. Yeah. But you are climbing your uh, KTM Machina Prowler, which is 180 mil travel up front yeah, and, and 170 on the 70, rear. Yeah, correct. Now, I see on the back there, you've got something Italian, the uh, EXT yeah, Shock. EXT Shock in the story, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's something that we have um, support So it's a bit of a them. barking dog, obviously, in Italy. Yeah, and this is as a, a setup for e-bike, where you, like the e-bike the e are yeah, more heavy than a normal bike, so we need a, a stronger uh, shock. Yeah. And yeah, that's the way, the way we go. Uh, so you, up front you've got a 184. 184. That's not a stock, right? Yeah. No, that, this is stock. Okay. This is a, the, the stock bike. Comes with 170 mm on the back, 180 on the front. So I'm looking at the display here now. Yeah. now this is something I, I changed it. Yeah. Uh, I put the display here like this, but to avoid in a crash to break because if you break the display, your your race is gone. So I put uh, here just to. For me personally, I didn't like seeing on the front. So okay, right, yeah. Put it, so do you know what, when you, was it when you're racing? Do you do you tend to use do you tend to use EMTB mode or turbo mode? What's and normally, uh, because I have a like 625 watt battery, when I, I check the, I know how much I can do on uh, MTB, on turbo or echo. Actually, I'm interested to know how much how much climbing can you do vertical on? Yeah, uh, vertical. If I go on turbo with this battery in the bike, I can go 1,200 meters. So. All the, the loops here, I'll go always in turbo. Yeah, uh, it's really good to actually know that number, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you need to know to have, uh, like, uh, also to save energy yeah. and know that the battery will last on turbo or uh, stuff. Okay, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, what about the handlebar I and I, handlebar I changed stemmer? it because uh, from the my background on downhill, I put all, like, a downhill cockpit. Uh, I have uh, 750. 780 millimeters uh, tag um, yeah. handlebar. 50 mil stem? Yeah. I put this uh, stem. Uh, it's different because you can put more newtons here. And with the e bike, with the heavy of the e bike, like turning. Yeah. If it's a normal from a standard bike, it's sometimes. It's Interesting switched. bit of tech yeah. there, so, guys. Yeah, this one you can put like six to nine newtons, and a normal one it goes to five, six. Okay. You need a bit more stronger because of the torsion of the bike. Uh, do you mind me asking how much you weigh? 
Uh, weight 74 kilos. Okay, so I'm looking at your brakes here. You've got a, is it a 200 and 180? Yeah, 200 and 180. Uh, for example, I don't uh, feel that I need more than this because it's it's for pistons and... Uh, it's probably because he's not braking. Yeah, no, no. But uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking on this winter testing 203 millimeters on the back. Okay, because cool. of the heavy of the bike, it's more heavy and the stage the longer. Yeah, you need the good, good brakes. Yeah. Now, Emmanuel's got XTR brakes, front and rear on the bike. He's also got XTR shifting on the back. Yeah. It looks like a 36 uh, yeah, to the, chain ring up front. Yeah, this is a Miranda chain ring 36. I changed the gear that comes in stock with the bike because for two things. This is a short cage derailleur from the XTR because to avoid the exposing to the rocks or eating. And I didn't need the 51 here, so I changed, I put 36 to it on the front, the Miranda one, and 45 on the back. Wow, interesting. Yeah, that's, because that's pretty close, close there. Sorry about the barking, yeah. guys, obviously. Uh, and, we're in town center. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, uh, I think the transmission right now is perfect for racing. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Loads of uh, neat padding yeah. here on the chain stay to keep the bike quiet. quiet he's, got a, yeah. uh, he's got a bottle cage on there. Yeah. Uh, and tires, you've got downhill casing yeah. tires, front and back. For front and back. I use the, the air tube on the back. Always downhill tires, the 3C rubber, the softest rubber. Uh, and for me personally, because I, I like to go more aggressive, I use downhill tires. Yeah, so I don't mind about the weight. Any any inserts in there, or just? I have insert okay. on the back, not in the front, but I'm thinking put it in the front here in Italy. Uh, so he's got a, a Mini and DHR uh, 2.4 in the back, and he's got an Asagai a 2.5 up front. I have also the the um, the cranks are carbon fiber from Miranda. Okay, 165 so, mm. Right. Can you tell me something about Miranda Cranks? Yeah. I mean, they are your sponsors after yeah, all. Yeah, they are our main sponsor. Yeah. This is one of the lightest cranks, uh, I'll, I'll try it. I think the pair is around 200 grams or less. Yeah. So it's really, really light. And do, you, do you ever change the crank length? Do you, yeah. do you ever experiment a little on bit? On this one, I, I, I just have this one, but in the aluminium one, I, I tested 160, 55, and also 152 millimeters. Wow. For, some, for some parts like uphill stuff, and so it's really good. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm thinking in the future, if there's more power stages, more uphill or with Rockies, changing maybe, going to 160 or 55 because I also have uh, short legs. Okay, um, now the wheel choice is interesting. You've gone yeah. for a DT Swiss hybrid e-bike yeah. wheel up front. That's not a wheel e-bike no, wheel in the back, no, right? No, this is a standard one, 32 holes. Yeah. Uh, I think you need a stronger wheel on the back. Right. That's why I, I changed it. Uh, I thought that the, that comes in standard is 28 holes and I thought it, it, it felt a bit uh, loose. Because you're hammering it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I needed a stronger uh, one. By the way, what I didn't mention was the bike is 29 inch up front and 27.5 in the rear. Emmanuel's got, obviously he's got uh, a SRAM Axis a remote electronic yeah. dropper on there. Uh, seat is a... It's a synchros. Synchro seat. Yeah. Uh, date, obviously some... Yeah, this is a, a new... Some horrible grips in there from some bloke in the UK called yeah. Brendan Faircliffe, right? And, uh, and one final thing, Emmanuel, you've got a Garmin on here. Yeah. Just to check, I like to check the, the time, because here in, uh, in the e-bike race, you, we have the timing stage, but you have the check-in, that is the transfer. And it's, it's really tight. So I use this on the training to see how much time I, I, think I need to go. Yeah. But normally it's flat out. Yeah, uh, actually, what, that's not the final thing. Final thing is XTR clipped in pedals. Yeah. Emmanuel, thanks so much. Thanks. That is an insane amount of technical detail there on how to set your e-mountain bike up for racing at the highest level. Emmanuel, thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Stephen.